Hi, my name is Stephanie Kim from Dr. Steiner's lab at Seoul National University. Today I'll be talking about BoldSeq, which is a fast and sensitive protein structures alignment method that is capable of aligning billions of protein structures. Ever since the recent breakthrough in silica protein structure prediction by AlphaFold2 and RosettaFold, we anticipate a rapid increase in publicly available structures. However, searching through these structures with the current structural alignment tools is becoming the main bottleneck in their analysis. Here, we propose VoltSeq, a fast and sensitive structural aligner that can scale up to billions of structural comparisons. VoltSeq reaches sensitivity similar to state-of-the-art structural aligners while being 4 to 5 orders of magnitude faster. VoltSeq is free, open source software available at VoltSeq.com and as a web server at search.voltseq.com. VoltSeq searches a set of query structures through a set of target structures. As shown in figure A in the method section, query and target structures are discretized into 3DI sequences, which describes tertiary risk to risk interactions of a protein. To the tech candidate structures, we apply the fast and sensitive KMER and ungapped alignment prefilter of MM62 to the 3DI sequences, followed by a vectorized Smith Waterman local alignment combining 3DI and amino acid substitution scores. As mentioned earlier, our 3 s states describe tertiary interaction between a residue I and its nearest neighbor J. Nearest neighbors were defined by the closest virtual center distance as shown in figure B in yellow. The virtual center positions were optimized for maximum search sensitivity. To describe the interaction geometry of residues I and J, we extracted seven angles, the Euclidean C alpha distance, and two sequence distance features from six C alpha coordinates of the two background fragments colored in blue and red. These 10 features are used to define 20 3DI states by training a vector quantized variational autoencoder modified to learn states that are evolutionarily conserved. For structure searches, the encoder predicts the best matching 3DI state for each residue. To compare the performance of BoltSeq with other tools, we measure the sensitivity and speed of BoltSeq and six structure alignment tools on the SCOP E dataset of, manual cla of manually classified single domain structures. The benchmark set was obtained by clustering SCOP E 2.01 at 40% sequence identity, yielding around 11,000 non redundant single domain structures. We performed an all versus all search and compared the tool's performance for finding identical SCOP E family, superfamily, and fold by measuring for each query the fraction of true positives out of all possible correct matches until the first false positive. The sensitivity was measured by the area under the curve of the cumulative rock curve up to the first false positive. As shown in the results section figure A, Wolsey reaches sensitivities at family and superfamily level below DALI, higher than the structural aligner CE, and similar to TM align and TM align fast. Wolsey is much more sensitive than structural alpha base search tools such as 3D Blast and CLESW. On this small scopy 40 benchmark set, Wolsey gets more than 3,000 time, 3, times faster than TM align, DALI, and CE as shown in figure B. It's not shown in this poster, but when searching through a much larger AlphaFold database where FullSeq approaches its full speed, FullSeq performed around 180,000 and 23,000 times faster than DALI and TMLN respectively. In addition, we devised a reference-free benchmark to assess search sensitivity and alignment quality of structural aligners on a more real realistic set of full-length multi-domain proteins. For our multi-domain benchmark set, we randomly selected 100 queries from the AlphaFold database and searched them against AlphaFold database. Two true positive matches are those with a local distance difference test score of at least 0.6 and false positives below 0.25, ignoring matches in between. LDDT measures the agreement of local residue residue distance between two aligned structures in which LDDT thresholds were set to the median inter and intra fold superfamily and family LDT scores of SCOP E40 alignments. To avoid a reference-based prediction of domains, we evaluated the sensitivity per residue. As shown in the first plot of figure C, it shows the distribution of the fraction of query residues that are part of alignments with at least X number of true positive targets with better scores than the first false positive match, which again, FullSeq has performed similar sensitivity as DALI, CE, and TM align, and much higher than CLESW and MM62. The second plot of figure C is showing the analysis of the quality of alignments produced by the top five matches per query. We computed the alignment sensitivity as the number of true positive residues divided by the query length, and the precision as the number of true positive residues divided by the alignment length. The figure shows the average sensitivity versus precision of the structural alignments, and it demonstrates that full alignments were more accurate and sensitive than MM62, CLESW, and TM align. 
similarly accurate as DALI, and 16% less precise, but 23% more sensitive than CE. This is not shown in this poster, but in addition to find potentially problematic high score and fold seek for false positives, we searched a set of unfragmented models in AlphaFold database with average predicted LDVT greater than 80 against itself. After inspecting about 1,600 high-scoring false positives, we noticed that queries with multiple segments were correctly folded by AlphaFold 2, but their relative orientation were incorrect, where they were correctly aligned by FoldSeq. This illustrates that 3D aligners, as TM align, may overlook homologous structures that are not globally superposable, whereas the one-dimensional aligner, FoldSeq, is independent of relative domain orientations and excels at detecting homologous multi-domain structures. We also developed a user-friendly web server that can search through four structure databases, AlphaFold database of Proteom and SwissProt, PDB100, and GMGCL, either using alignment method FoldSeq or TMLine. The server takes PDB files as input and returns a list of match plus structures, sequence alignments, fit scores, e-values, or TM scores, and visualization of three-dimensional structure alignments. The web server also provides a REST API as well. In conclusion, the availability of high-quality structures for every folded protein is going to change biology and bioinformatics. Sequence-based analysis will soon be largely superposed by structure-based analysis instead. And we, believe, and we believe that the main limitation of the current structural alignment methods have been solved by FoldSeq in four orders of magnitude speed of structure comparisons. Thank you.